Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a quick look at a build 14295 of Windows 10 Insider Preview. A very short video because there's really nothing much here. Uh, no new features in this build. Uh, what's most important for me? I had to try seven times before I was able to do a install of this. I even searched for uh, maybe an image file somewhere that I could use to install that I did not find. But this was uh, very, very difficult to install. It actually crashed at the graphics display adapter. Uh, this happens very often and it's, I think, very unique to this computer that I'm using because most insider previews that I've used on this computer uh, had similar crashes of the graphics display adapter. But the thing is, um, in most builds, it continued installing and it was not a problem because they would recover the install and continue on. Now, this time it crashed, but it couldn't recover. It always rolled back. So that's the major issue that I had. But like I say, this seems to be very unique to this computer uh, because it is always the same blue screen when I have one and it's always related to the Intel uh, display adapter that is in here. Apart from that, nothing new. Um, if you want to install it, it um, when it works, <laughs> it takes typically the same time as most uh, Windows 10 installs that I've done. It um, fixes a few things. Uh, if you have Xbox controllers, um, some of you have been saying that you had issues where your Xbox controller froze. That is fixed and uh, Microsoft Edge also there's a few issues that uh, Microsoft Edge would refresh the tab um, if you press caps lock with the cursor in the password field. Um, Xbox app fixed an issue that prevents Xbox app and other Xbox Live enabled apps in games from signing in. Uh, fixed a driver bug that prevented Kaspersky antivirus internet security and the Kaspersky total security suit installed from working as expected. And um, that's pretty much what we know of the fixes. As for things that are happening, if you install build 14295, the problems that Microsoft knows are there. Narrator and other screen reader apps are unable to read the menu options in the feedback hub. Issues with our narrator not reading selected texts, um, IPv problems, <coughs> TPM. Uh, if you have an Asus ZenBook and some PCs with TPM chips, may experience glitchy audio and jumpy movement when using the trackpad due to the TPM maintenance task running constantly in the background. Some of you have been telling me that you had some issues with sound, so this could be the problem. Miracast connections will fail. There's a workaround if you really need to. Remember, these are insider previews. They are buggy. It's normal. App crashes. Microsoft says that Windows Live Mail, Expression Encoder 4, QQ, and some other apps will crash. In this build, they are investigating the issue. And if you are an insider on your mobile, Windows 10 mobile also, there is build 14295 available also for mobile. So nothing much new, uh, nothing really special I have to say about this build. And uh, hopefully you will, uh, if you're an insider, you installed it. Uh, let me know how it went with your install if you're an insider. And of course, as always, if you're not an insider, you should not become an insider unless you are prepared to reinstall Windows regularly. And, um, you know, this should not be your main computer. You should never 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 use the main computer as a insider machine that is not a good idea uh, i have a dedicated computer for the insider previews i do not use my main computer for that that would not be a good idea so if you enjoy my videos please subscribe let us know what you think of your insider previews and uh, hopefully the next build will have new features i would expect and that's my own little feeling here that after build conference we'll have a big jump in the insider number and lots of new features. I wouldn't be surprised, but 
I think they're keeping all the surprise for build conference before we get an official build that has something interesting in it. So uh, hopefully that's going to come true. Thanks for watching.